All right, everybody, we're looking at another uh, equipment economics problem here for construction engineering. Um, this one is going to be a break-even problem where we're going to look at how long it would take for you to pay off a piece of equipment based on some values here. So here's the problem. You're purchasing a new dozer for 214 k and you do some calculations, and you expect that it's going to increase your productivity to earn you an extra $8,500 a month. Manufacturer tells you that the maintenance cost for it is $1,095 after the first month and it increases $15 every month thereafter. And you want to know how long it's going to take you to break even for this investment given an APR of 12%. Um, and now we're going to look at it compounded monthly and assume that there's no salvage value at the end. All right, so basically um, how we want to solve this is to find the in value where all of these payments on the bottom, maintenance, the initial cost, are even and break even with this value of incoming cash flow of $8,500 a month, given our interest rates and everything else. So let's go ahead and get organized. Let's write down what our given values are. Okay, we have a first uh, payment here of 214000 We have an A value of $8,500 coming in. We have an A prime that we'll put down here for our maintenance cost of, well, let's just keep the values themselves, $1,095. Per month. Let's put per month up here too. G, which is how much this uh, maintenance cost is increasing, is 15 a month. And we have our interest is equal to 12% APR, which equals 1% monthly. So we should be pretty set with all that information there. And as we know, in is what we're trying to find, which can make this a little bit complicated. So the key here is really just to keep track of, you know, what's on which side of this cash flow diagram. What's money coming in and what's money coming out. So we're going to start by trying to get everything to this future value. So I'm going to round up everything throw it to the future, set it all equal to each other, and find out what in is. And that's how it's going to work. So our first thing, um, let's uh, just say go to the future. So that's step one. Uh, so let's take F of this present value here. Um, that's just going to be 214, 000, and we're going to the future. So we're going to use this uh, 1 plus i to the end. That's our um, future given present equation. Let's see if we can keep these up here as we go so we can look at these. So future given present right there. Okay, so we do that, we get 214,000 times 1 plus 0 0.01 for our 1% compounded monthly to the n. We don't know what n is, so, you know, we're stuck with just an equation right now. Um, also, let's just keep track, this is below the cash flow line there, so we're just going to kind of keep track of it with a nice little negative sign in parentheses. Okay, so next one we'll do is to take these, uh, we're going to take the A's. So we're going to look at this A value of money coming in and this A value of money coming out. And we can see that those two um, sent to the future. Let's take one. 8,500, and just subtract off the 1,095, those two numbers are constant every month. And 
we want now f given a uniform series. So in this turn case, it's g. So f given g. Okay. So looking at, um, I'm sorry, that should be a. f given a. g is the next one. Because this is a uniform series, so f given a. And you'll look and f given a on here, where's the bottom, is right here. 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over i. So that will come out to 1 plus 0.01n minus 1 over 0 0.01. So we end up with um, if we do all of it here, seven hundred forty thousand fifty dollars, and then we get this one point oh one to the n minus one value. And looking here, the eighty five hundred and the one thousand, we end up with. A number above the line so we'll put a little plus sign in parentheses here all right next one we're gonna look at this maintenance cost here this $15 which is a geometric um, gradient arithmetic gradient uniform series vector so we're gonna define the F value of this um, basically we're finding F given G which, if you look on here, f given g doesn't exactly exist. We have a p given g, we have an a given g, we don't have f given g. So what can we do? Well, we can take this value here, find out what it is, and then take that present value and move it to the future using this here. And so doing that, we end up with this $15, which is our G, and then 1 plus 0 0.01 to the N minus 0 0.01 N minus 1, divided by 0 0.01 squared 1 plus 0 0.01 to the N times 1 plus 0 0.01 to the n. So this takes it to the future. I'm sorry, f given p. So this was, uh, this gave us p given g, and then we switched it to f given p, and now we have f given g. Okay. All right, so that comes out to giving us a big value and looking at that, that's a negative for maintenance, so we're going to put that there. Okay, so what do we do now? We basically want to know where we break even, so that means that where this positive value finally catches up to all these negative values. So we can do that, or we can say where 0 equals the sum of all of these, or 0 equals negative 2, 1, 4, thousand one plus zero point zero one to the n um, plus seven hundred forty thousand fifty dollars one point zero one to the n minus one and minus this one here fifteen times one point zero one in minus 0 0.01 in minus 1 over 0 0.01 squared 1.01 to the n times 1.01 in. <laughs> There's an n over there. Believe me. All right, so basically you get this equation and you need to solve it out. Um, I'm not going to do that here just 
because that would take a lot of paper, a lot of screen space. Um, go ahead and work it out and you end up with N equals 36 months or three years. So plugging in three for all these N's, you end up with zero, which means that's where you break even. From that point on, you would actually make a profit with that piece of equipment every time you used it. All right, so that's all there is to this one. And thank you very much.